A revolutionary Toyota's engine has arrived, and it's leaving all competitors in the dust. To be honest, I've never seen anything quite like it. This isn't just another alternative fuel or one of the new, complex engines. It boasts a high power output that puts even the top players to shame. Simplicity is at its core, and even a child could understand how it operates. So, is it any wonder that it's considered the best engine? Feast your eyes on this sleek marvel, the ultimate game-changer in engine technology. They call it the In-Engine, a tribute to its status as the innovation engine, straight out of Granada, Spain. A compact yet incredibly powerful engine that defies all expectations. I'm talking about a single-stroke engine, a powerhouse that seamlessly blends the best features from various engine types to create something truly extraordinary. This engine isn't just some cool new innovation, it's rewriting the rulebook on what's possible in automotive engineering. Now, what sets this engine apart from the rest? This isn't your average one-stroke wonder, it's more like a turbocharged two-stroke titan. Although they labeled it as a one-stroke engine, combustion and exhaust team up in the first stroke, followed by intake and compression in the second. It's a powerhouse duo that's turning heads in the automotive world. In simple terms, the in-engine is a game-changer. It discards traditional cams and valves, opting instead for a direct injection approach. And even though it's not your everyday one-stroke engine, its two-stroke hustle is seriously impressive, with a mind-blowing 120 horsepower unleashed from a mere 500 cubic cm of displacement. This engine packs a serious punch, and the best part is it does all this while weighing in at just 35 kg. It's like having a racing car engine in the palm of your hand, and the crazy thing is that this powerhouse has already proven its mettle in the real world, undergoing rigorous testing in a Mazda MX-5. That's right, folks, this isn't just some pie-in-the-sky concept. It's a real-life innovation that's ready to hit the road. How cool is that? But the question now is, can it handle the grind of daily driving with the same durability? Sure, this engine might deliver some serious power when you rev it up to those high RPMs, but what about everyday performance? Now, don't get me wrong, I'm all for innovation and pushing the boundaries of automotive technology, but let's pump the brakes for a second and take a closer look. Again, don't get me wrong, this engine's got some cool features and potential, but let's keep it real, folks. There's still some testing and proving to be done before we crown it the king of the road. We need to know that, so I looked at the plans carefully, and the in-engine didn't disappoint. It has eight pistons lined up in an oppositional stance, and instead of your typical cylinder head and crankshaft setup, this engine rocks a funky, wavy component. These pistons glide on rollers along this undulating surface. When the magical moment of combustion occurs, it's like a symphony of power. The pistons receive a push, triggering a chain reaction, and voila, we have an abundance of torque emanating from both ends of the engine. It's like pure automotive poetry in motion. And guess what, with its sleek design, this engine paves the way for a whole new world of possibilities. We're literally looking at the most incredible four-wheel drive machine, mastering every terrain like a champion, all thanks to the ingenious design of this engine. No cylinder head, no cams, no valves, just pure, unadulterated power and simplicity. But hey, we're just getting started here, folks. There's a lot more to unpack with this revolutionary technology. When it comes to the in-engine setup, it's all about the opposed piston design, and let me tell you, it's a game-changer. In your average engine, the combustion chamber just sits atop the piston, absorbing the heat without contributing much else. But with this setup, they've got pistons on both sides of the chamber, ensuring every bit of energy is put to good use. It's like having two powerhouses working in perfect harmony. But now you're probably thinking, how does this engine even breathe without those reliable valves? That was my first question too. It's like watching a perfectly choreographed dance routine. Intake and exhaust ports work hand-in-hand -hand with the pistons, ensuring the air flows smoothly in and out. Add in a fuel injector and a spark plug, and you've got combustion hotter than a summer day in the desert. But there's a whole other level of this tech wizardry. Ever heard of scavenging? By opening both the intake and exhaust valves at the same time, it creates this mini vacuum that sucks in fresh air. It's kind of like hitting the reset button with every cycle, ensuring it is revving up for peak performance every single time. Think of it like having a direct injection two-stroke engine, but without all the usual headaches you'd expect from a typical two-stroke setup. That is what makes it so darn impressive. The one major perk is that now we can truly say goodbye to oil-burning headaches. They've cracked the code to keep that oil separate from the combustion chamber, and let me tell you, that's seriously impressive stuff. 
Imagine having this in your car instead of those sophisticated and really complicated modern engines that even experienced mechanics can't fix. Let's be honest, when this thing arrives at our doorsteps, everything will change. And let's not forget that the application of this could be on so many other things than just cars. Everything with an engine could possibly be rocking one of these in the near future. That is just amazing. But wait, there's more. This bad boy can tweak its compression ratio on the fly, and it's as easy as turning a knob. With these wavy components doing their thing, you can dial in the perfect compression for any situation. Do you want a high RPM with low compression for that extra kick, or a low RPM with high compression for max efficiency? Well, now we can have any on the go. It's like having the best of both worlds all packed into one sweet mechanical setup. Moreover, thanks to the opposed piston setup, you've got a primary and secondary balance that's smoother than a newly laid road. Unlike your typical engines, it abandons those troublesome connecting rods that tend to generate vibrations with all their back and forth action. Instead, the in-engine opts for rollers gliding along a lobed circular plate, creating a seamless dance that eliminates any unwanted shakes. This fresh approach doesn't just promise a smoother ride, it also boosts efficiency and overall engine balance. But why isn't everyone jumping on the in-engine bandwagon? Well, change isn't always easy. The old rod and piston design has been the standard for ages, and people are hesitant to switch things up. Plus, when it comes to torque, the traditional setup still holds the crown. That crankshaft is like a magic wand, transforming combustion into pure torque, even at low RPMs. The in-engine, well, it's more like a series of quick bursts, which might leave you craving more power. I'm not saying that the applications are limited, no, it's just that this engine might be well suited for something that we haven't discussed. You see, this is the go-to solution for drone enthusiasts and professionals alike, specially crafted to meet the demands of drone applications. Picture this, you're in the middle of aerial surveying, or perhaps you're in the midst of an intense emergency response situation, or even contributing to vital environmental monitoring efforts. The in-engine steps up to the plate, offering lightweight yet robust power, the very lifeline for prolonged flight sessions. Say goodbye to the days of short-lived drone adventures. With the in-engine's ultra-light generator tech on board, drones can soar through the skies autonomously for hours on end, not just minutes. It's a game-changer, really. At the end of the day, though, this engine still has some tricks up its sleeve. Despite all the fancy tech and unconventional design, it still follows the same basic principles as your run-of-the-mill engine. So while it might turn heads with its flashy features, it's still got to earn its stripes on the road. So, if you ask me, the real question is, will it be profitable for mass production? Because if you think about it, lately we've seen so many new types of engines that have been creating a lot of buzz online, but all of them don't make it to mass production. The closest thing we have right now is Honda's hydrogen engine, and let me tell you, that one is on another level, truly unique in its own way. It uses hydrogenous fuel and emits zero carbon. It is truly what the whole world is waiting for. Governments have been trying to find something that can achieve this, just look at the incentives for EVs, and this is way better than that. And that's all for today video, hope you enjoy it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, thanks for watching.